Hi, today's garden book is called Compost Stew, and it goes like this. You can say the words along with me if you remember them. We've read this before in the garden. It's a recipe for earth. And it was written by Mary McKinnon Sudals. Environmental chefs, here's a recipe for you to fix from scratch to mix a batch of compost stew. The ingredients are <clears throat> apple cores, bananas bruised, coffee grounds with filters used. Dirt clod crumbles, eggshells crushed, fruit, pulp left behind, all mushed up. Grass clippings, hair snippings, and insect or two. Save jack-o'-lanterns, kitchen scraps, laundry lint from dryer traps. Mulch removed from garden beds, nutshells, oatmeal, and paper shreds. Quarry dust and rye bread crust and seaweed, seaweed strands, a few. Just add it to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Take tea bags plucked from long hot swimmings, underbrush prunings and vegetable trimmings. Wiggly worms with compost cravings. Christmas tree needles and yellow pine shavings. And zinnia heads from flower beds whose blooming days are through just add it to the pot and let it all rot into compost stew. Moisten, toss lightly, cover, let brew, and when the cooking is complete, Mother Earth will have a treat, dark and crumbly, rich and sweet. Now open the pot and what have you got? What is it? That's right. Compost stew. And I'll read the chef's note here. He says, out of pumpkins, low on flies, get creative, improvise. You can always substitute any veggie plant or fruit but please recycle these instead. They won't break down, no, not a shred of metal, plastic, packing foam, or chemicals found in the home. What's no more, no meat or dairy, please. No bones or gravy, fish or cheese, for these will cause an awful smell, attracting animals as well. Earthy, yes, meaty, no. Synthetic stuff, naturals go. So spice it up, but be judicious. Keep it wholesome and nutritious. Mother Earth will say, delicious compost stew. The end.